Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about setting up Dispatcher Flush Agent. Dispatcher Flush Agent is used to clear Dispatcher Cache. We have multiple ways of clearing Cache. We can set up a Dispatcher Flush Agent. We have ACS Commons functionality. Using that, we can clear Cache. And even you can manually delete Cache or you can write code to clear Cache as well. So as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about the first option how to set up a dispatcher flush agent you can set up dispatcher flush agent either on author or publish setting up on a publish having a slightly advantage we'll talk about that in the second part of this tutorial let's see uh, if i'm setting up a dispatcher uh, flush agent on author so how it works we already have a replication agent and we will be setting up dispatcher flush agent so as soon as we publish some content replication agent publish that content and dispatcher flush agent dispatcher flush agent sent a request to clear cache of that content published so let's see how you can set up that dispatcher flush agent is already available you need to configure as per your need go to tools and then deployment you will find a second tile here replication go to replication you will find number of options agents on author publish and activation tree so let's go to agent on author you will find a dispatcher flush agent there by default that is disabled just enable that and this edit so you will find this option, the options to input are almost same like the other replication agents. So what you have to configure here is most of the things are already pre-populated. You can change as per your need. In transport, rather than you give the path of your publish uh, instance, you pass to your address of your dispatcher, means Apache server. So my Apache server is running on localhost and port 80. And then you pass this address to the servlet to clear cache. Okay, and I'm done. You have to enable it as well. So you will see the third option in the first tab, which is enable. Enable this and serialization is equal to flush dispatcher flush and just save it. Okay, you can test the connection. Once you are done, just check it. If I go to the test connection, uh, it says error you will see the forbidden okay so what might be the problem here let's go to the dispatcher logs means apache logs and check what errors are there if it try to communicate to server means your apache if you check your dispatcher log you will see in line number three flushing rejected from my local host ip that means the flushing or cache clear is not allowed using this or from this IP address. So what is happening here? So dispatcher flush is not allowed from all the machine. We have a section where you define from which machine or which IP the flushing is allowed. And that's correct for the optimization or the performance we cannot allow the cache flush from any machine so to allow cache flush from my local machine i have to add an entry in my farm files farm file means my dispatcher.any if you check your dispatcher.any i have already um, distributed or scattered these configuration in a multiple file but because i did not explain now let's understand with the previous file as well so in dispatcher.any go to the cache section if you go to the cache and you will find one section here mm, and allow there must be allowed clients if you see it's disabled every all the ips are disabled now denied so what you have to do you can make an entry here okay and allow your ip let's say so i have added a entry for my local machine ip my machine and then i'm saying allow now you need to just restart your server 
So I have restarted my server. If I go back and check again, let me check the connection again. And it says successful now because now this client is allowed to flush cache. So if you will see here in the content, I have clear cache means I have cache. Uh, so if I uh, this access these pages, one from the geeks and another one from the V retail, I must have cache created. So if I check in this folder, uh, ls hyphen L, yeah, now caches has been created. This is under the old path, which I have already explained when I explain how to set up dispatcher. So we have cache here. Now, if I, let's say, uh, I access the home page, if I publish that page, what should happen? So you will see here, I have a cache for the home page. If I publish this page, home page, let me publish this. So cache should be flushed. So uh, if I go back and check the dispatcher logs, you will see an option here checking the this servlet activation detected and of this page. Okay, activation of this page means publish of this page and you will see the cache flushed here. You will see the cache has been flushed. But if you go back and check in your folder, uh, you will still find the cache it has been cleared oh it's my bad you won't find cache cache has been cleared using this flush agent now let's understand a scenario i publish a page so replication agent move that page to publish environment and dispatcher flush agent clear cache so before actually that page move or reach to publish environment the same time before that the dispatcher flush agent clear the cache of that page and same time a request comes in for the same page so because cache is not there so request will go to the publish environment but at that time the updated content did not reach to publish environments so the old content will be served for that request and we will clear create a cache as well with the old content so the old content is served to the end user and we have a cache with the old content so for the further request until the cache has cleared this uh, apache or the dispatcher will keep serve that request with the old content this scenario is not frequent but sometimes this can happen for the sites which has a large content and large traffic to that site so to avoid this kind of issues or to optimize the performance in such kind of issues you can configure dispatcher flush agent on publish itself rather than on author so in that case is as soon as the content reach to the publish environment only then the cache will be cleared or flushed you can set up the dispatcher flush agent on author itself and then you will move that uh, agent page to the publish so go to the tools and deployment replication and you will find again the agent on publish so you will find a dispatcher agent there just i did that edit and in transport add your apache path and then sublet apache path my is uh, my apache is running on 80 so i updated 80 and in this just enable this once you enable the configurations are same publish this this page or this agent to the publish environment just publish this and activate okay this has been activated uh, disable your agent on author environment otherwise both will be triggered and both will be clearing cache so now this agent has been moved to publish so if i publish content so uh, this this agent will clear dispatcher cache so you will see here i have a cache of home page am geeks home page so if i publish that let me publish that page here <clears throat> go to the home page and publish this page okay so that page has been published so if i go to the dispatcher log i must see a, a cache flush there if you see here the cache has been flushed and this flush has been done the agent 
which is on publish environment. So if I check this cache files inside my cache folder, if I do it, the cache has been cleared. Now there's a no content available in my directory where I have cache. So this way you can configure dispatcher flush agent on either author or publish. This was the simplest example, but we have more complex scenarios. Let's say if you're running multiple website on same Apache server on same publish. So in that case, you have to take care like only requested cache being flushed. Otherwise you will have performance issues. So that we will see in detail in coming tutorials. Uh, I will explain that scenario at end of this series because before that you must understand few more concepts about dispatcher configurations. I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.